fracking. We say no. Say no to fracking. We say no. We say no. is to delete the word refuse and to substitute it with the word approve and delete the rest of the wording but add with additional conditions namely and have no. these written down no. firstly that the start and continuation of operations at the site are subject to monitoring and review of public health aspects by the County Council's Director of Public Health and Wellbeing, and also additionally, that the start and continuation of any flaring is subject to monitoring and review of any associated emissions, including any particles which may fall on nearby land and ponds. Chairman, if I may, um, we are currently, um, I understand that the, the actually considering at the moment, not the recommendation to approve, which is actually um, the, the, the recommended, that is a substantive motion that's on the committee papers. Um, so if you want to make an amendment to the, the, the motion that has been um, put forward by Councillor Ellard, if you want to add or take away from that, but effectively what you are putting forward is a substantive motion. Um, we need to vote on the amendment first and then we can... Okay. Okay. Right. All those against? Any abstentions? <laughs> so we move on to the chairman's casting vote, and I vote to against the motion. Okay. Councillor Paul Hayhurst. Chairman, um, I think it would be a shock to people here today to know 
why that vote went the way it did. And um, the fact is that the council or the, the, the uh, members of the committee have been given legal advice which um, has tied the, vote, tied the members' hands, I'm afraid, and basically made it a waste of time for any of us being here for the last few days. Um, I do think that, therefore, we should now make the legal advice public and also I feel that we should also take legal advice as to whether or not policy CF, CS5 would be sustainable and I would therefore recommend that we defer any further business until we get that information in writing. Is that to adjourn the meeting for a further period, say it is. an hour? It is, to adjourn. It, it is until we have the advice that we've been given up to now in writing, which we can then make public, and also that we also get advice on CS5 as to the sustainability of, of um, CS5, and that we have that in writing before we reconvene. Do you have a seconder? Councillor Paul uh, uh, Green? Uh, thank you, Mr Chairman. I, I wish to second um, Councillor Ayer's proposal. Um, I think it's only right and proper on a matter of seriousness that we be as open and transparent as we possibly can be. Uh, the vote we've just taken was on the basis of legal advice. I think that legal advice needs to be shared with the public so that they are fully aware of the position which we find ourselves in as elected members. I also think there's a, there's a need uh, for advice from Council on Policy CS5 um, and all that advice should be in writing and should be made public. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Okay, it's been proposed and seconded. Mar Marcus Johnson? I think we... Uh to realise what CS5 is. We don't then get to some scenes that compelled our councillors to feel so pressured. What was that legal advice? Because you know, the more we expose about the processes that go on in our country to lead to planning committees like this going under pressure, then the more we'll be able to expose it and get it right next time. So I think, yes, we're despondent. Everyone wants an answer today, but let's not reach for an answer without first exposing something and then finding out that we're doing it with the right amount of information. We're still here over the next two days for Rosica, don't forget. We've got tomorrow all the evidence on Rosica, Friday decision day. We're nearly certain we're going to come out with a good result that day. You can't drive a scooter down Rosica's road, let alone 500 vehicle movements per frack. So we think that that will be okay. As for the delay on this, Let's take that as a better thing. I don't know if you've noticed, and I said this yesterday, every time there is a delay, even on the campsites when you delay a truck by a few hours, every time there's a delay, the European business press reacts in this way. It says, European, sorry, UK public shale gas opposition brings down stock price. <laughs> the owners of Quadrilla are at rock bottom and getting lower every day. They will sink with this. They will not have the funding. They begged a million off Centrica. Centrica promised to give them more, but only if they succeed. Now Centrica's got to be getting a bit nervous, and no one's going to want to put money into this. And we can't succeed with our government and democracy and councils. We can succeed by denying them the money at least. Okay, so be happy. Don't be sad. We you know? are happy. It could have been worse. They could have said bloody yes. When we know what they're voting on, then we know, you know, we, we, at the moment, we're in limbo, aren't we? But Liz is now going to have a word with different friends of the air to give a little bit more clarity. Thank you. I agree with everything Tina and Louise said. And I think what's happened to, uh, so far today is that we've made it impossible. You can't hear? Oh, what, what, what happened? Oh, yeah. Just shout. Uh, so what? what has happened so far today is we've made it impossible for the councillors in this building to do the wrong thing. Hey. Yeah. So, 
yeah, go Nanas. <laughs> um, and that really is a testament to all of the campaigning that's gone on in Lancashire, but also the solidarity and messages of support from around the country against fracking. And what really is clear is that whatever the decision uh, is in the end on fracking here, David Cameron's on a loser because, you know, everywhere that fracking is proposed, local people say no, fracking isn't going to go ahead here. And, you know, David Cameron uh, and the fracking industry, you know, actually the case of fracking is being shaken. And what we have heard is quite a lot of councillors listening to the arguments and listening to the evidence and speaking up on our behalf in, the, in that council chamber. So we've still got hope and we're still going to stay united and let's keep our fingers crossed for the right decision. I still got a thing that comes down to hope. We are going to stop it. It's not hope. That's what we want people understand that. You hear? We're we'll getting we we'll increase the numbers. How many people are beeping going down that damn road? People are pressing. They are supposed to know about fracking. They're in a the city, they're not gonna be affected. Okay, that's what we're thinking. But the beeping isn't going down this road. That's because people are keep coming down here and we're gonna keep going back until it stops. It will stop. We will stop it. It is wrong. Simple. No hope. I know that's what you... No hope. We will stop it. It is wrong. Simple as that. No fracking. Stop fracking. The others started. Stop fracking. There's people there that are listening to what we're saying. Because the evidence is overwhelming. The Menat Report. Everybody. Menat.org. Get on there. Get to know the evidence. Well done, everybody. And thank you, New York, for your solidarity as well. New York for actually letting the Lancashire County Council know about it. Back to 4.30. Now, if anybody wants to have a, a word, you can do. 4.30. Now, a pocket in that tub. People have already put hours and hours and hours, many hundreds of hours to fight this. To get the evidence in front of fracking. Wow. But on this now, come on. Anybody got a five? You haven't put money in. People on the street there, people walking past. Get the fiver in here. You can put more than that if you want to. Any change in your pocket. We've given everything. We've given everything and we're still giving more. We will give more to fight fracking and stop fracking in Lancashire. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Come on! No fracking in Lancashire! Not in my name!
past five, and I felt very heavy day to understand some legal advice that they were able to take it away, they're able to speak to their own advisors, and then they can come back. And, uh, and as we know, it takes time for most people to get barristers to look at information, therefore I feel that a month is the least time that we should be in the, in the journey for. Concerned whether they are for or against the application, opportunity to consider the legal position, and hopefully also by then we'll, we'll receive an unredacted death row report, which we should have, in my opinion, before we actually take any position. No, no. Okay, um, I will scope in. Uh, thank you, Chair. I'm, I'm not against the deferral. Um, I don't see why it should be as long as a month. I would suggest that if it is being deferred, we defer it till the beginning of next week, to Monday morning, the 29th. There's no reason to defer it because of the DEFI report, because this committee has already decided, yesterday morning wasn't it, that we were not, by a majority vote, we were not going to defer our decision because of this DEFRA report. I can't see any reason to come back onto that particular matter. Thank you. Councillor Penny, did you indicate it to speak? Um, thank, you, thank you, Chair. Um, I think in a month you'll find that most of the county councillors and probably a lot of other people are actually away on holiday. And that's going to be extremely difficult finding people to be for it on this committee. Um, so I would suggest that either we do it on Monday, which we've got reserved in our diaries anyway. Or do you want the decision making or not? Or we, or we leave it till September when the children get back to school and everybody will be here. Please, please be patient. Um, Councillor Bailey, yes? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I agree with Councillor Scofield, um, but if we're going to defer it, it should be, be told beyond Monday. Um, but can I draw your attention to the papers that we put out for this meeting? It said we will, the meeting will conclude at the end of business when we when we brought it. Um, we didn't say that we was going to just because it's half past five that we was going to step down. I think we owe the residents over here to get it done today instead of giving them more time off, uh, off work if they're working or not. But I'm sure, but to, but to leave, it, leave it for a month, which uh, I, I think is, is out of the question. Thank you. Please be patient. Thank you very much. Councillor Marcus Johnston. Thanks, I really can't see that deferring this decision yet again is, is going to help. We're due some legal advice at quarter past five. No, I don't want to preempt that legal advice and I think everyone in the room knows what my opinion of it is. I hope I'm wrong uh, on what the legal advice is going to be. Um, as far as the DEFRA report goes, I would very much doubt that that will be available within a month. Again, I don't know. Uh, but DEFRA have got a right of appeal all the way up to the High Court. And I think it's unlikely that if DEFRA do decide to go for the right of appeal, and again, we don't know what DEFRA is thinking, uh, that it will be ready within a month. And we've already taken the decision that we're prepared to proceed this far on the basis that we're doing it without the, uh, with the un unredacted DEFRA report. And today, I really do. I would just simply to ask Chair whether there's a problem deferring it for a month. I mean, I'm thinking maybe in terms of the time Chair for dealing with the application. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's all right to defer it for a month. Maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A proposal has been put to the floor for a proposal for a month suspension for a month, and I suggest that you take the vote on it and uh, move on. Yeah. People are being in call. A lady in the She's got some information that she'd like to share with us. Jill? Some of us do have one. We need to make a sketch. Thanks, Thank you, Chairman. I do apologise for, for the wait. Obviously, we have asked Council to send through advice. Um, I did speak to Council, as my colleague did actually, just before half past, and he said it will be with you very shortly, by five o'clock. So I, I hear what you say about deferring it. Um, but we really are not talking very much longer and obviously you know we have waited to wait another 20 minutes I, I don't think in the scheme of things we would probably be unacceptable but obviously it's your, your decision okay Paul well chairman again can I say that I'm not suggesting that we defer it because of the death of report what I'm suggesting is we defer it for <laughs> spoke in the room and in, in, in committee that there are various, various barristers' opinions on, on, on legal matters. Let us test those out. Why do we have to steam all this round for a quarter past five in the afternoon? obviously wouldn't leave the uncertainty. Um, I understand, uh, I've just been ad advised, that it may be very difficult within a month to reorganise, you know, the logistical exercise of, re of reorganising um, the police, the security, it just may not be possible. And, and I would just like to be able to be able to be able to be able to be Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we've already had legal counsel once today, and we didn't need to go away uh, and defer it for any length of time uh, for consideration. So if legal counsel is going to be here by 5 o'clock this evening, then surely we don't need to take any more time to consider that than we did to consider the counsel we had earlier today. So I would suggest we carry on. Okay, thank you very much. It's only 15 minutes to, to the... Go on. I, can I just make the point that um, obviously a month has been suggested but the other factor is that we would have to then seek time extension from the applicant which we are not guaranteed to receive. Um, the, uh, I think it's, correct me if I'm wrong, please, I think it's to the end of the month that we have the time extension. So obviously, <coughs> pardon me, if we were to go beyond the end of the month, we would have to seek a time extension from the applicant. They are not obliged to accede to that. We have two more speakers. Um, first of all, it's Councillor Barry Yates. Yeah, this one's working well, okay. Uh, I agree. We did say at the, at the beginning when we said we were going to listen to representations and today to make a decision that we would uh, go to till the decision was made. Now that, that's saying it could be up to midnight tonight, or as long as it takes. We've done that in planning before with other councils. Um, to delay it any longer, and we're looking at the clock, we have now 12 minutes to go before we get the legal representation. Where are we going to, uh, to look, to vote, to, to leave it till a month, when we've only got 12 minutes to wait, and by the time everybody's had, a, had another go at it, the time will be up. So I think it's, it's uh, ludicrous just going to the vote like that. And if, we, if I have to do, um, I'd like you to come back to me because I'll put in an amendment to the proposition. Thank you. And uh, Chris, what is I think we should soldier on, and, and if we do find that the, that the legal advice is complex, and, and we could come back here and actually talk again about how we handle what we've received. Um, I personally think that there needs to be some time set aside, and that maybe the 2nd of September um, would be a suitable time. But um, you know, that's up to, obviously up to others. But I think we just need to see what we, what we get at five o'clock or quarter past five and take it from there. Because clearly the arrangements in County Hall have been very complex to get this together. And, uh, you know, we have to get, have to be mindful of that as well. Thank you. And finally, Councillor Kevin Ellard. First share this decision is almost as tricky as the main business we're here for. Um, I've, I've heard uh, all, all shades of opinion expressed. Uh, I'm, I'm very mindful of the officer advice about the practicalities uh, in terms of arrangements in, in County Hall. We do have a reserve day on Monday. I would pr propose, therefore, that we adjourn the meeting on this item today, defer it till Monday, and in the meantime continue both tomorrow and Friday with the applications in relation to Rosica Wood. Well, the legal advice on the paper is here. Okay, so I've been told. Do we get to hear that? Members, would you, would, would you want to say something, uh, uh, Councillor Pellier? Yes, um, I just wanted to say that it, it seems uh, foolish not to wait to see how simple or how difficult that legal advice might be tonight when if we did that it could be that we could save a full day's security payments etc etc on Monday.
Now we go back to Councillor Paul Fairhurst's motion, which is uh, proposed and seconded. We need to take a vote on that one. Just while we do it now, just to explain to you as well, we had three meetings here, well four, and there was only two security on the gate, two, two, two security on the front door, that was absolutely sufficient. This is overkill, <laughs> this is intimidation. Look, can I just say though that the local police would absolutely be yeah, yeah, the local police. police. We're talking purely about the private security that Lancashire County Council brought in. We got that's overkill. That's overkill. We came here and there's two security on that door. Sometimes while well, we were having a chat with them, there's never been any problems. Never. This is overkill. We don't need the security. If you're using that as an excuse, they don't need to be paying our money for the security. It's our money, we're the ratepayers, they don't need it. No security, they don't need it. <laughs> Disgusting decision. Disgusting excuse. They're still chummering, by the way.
here by Paul on the second day itself. Can we take a vote on that which was to be deferred for a month? Yes, Can we take a vote for that? All those in favour? All those against? Any abstentions? Thank you. So, Paul, can I have bear with me now for a second, please? So, the, the, the motion is, is lost. The legal advice is with us. It can be read out. Am I understanding here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to see the legal advice, legal paper first, yes. or do you want it to be read out? Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So I propose on a dual read for about ten minutes, so the committee can see the legal advice, and then we will we will see it. Five plus five. So we we'll see the legal advice and we will read it out. So the legal advice was for the committee, and once the committee has seen it, and then it's up to the committee that it can be read out into the public domain. Yeah. So please bear with us. These are all legal and procedural matters. Yeah. So we're going into part two. For ten minutes. Part two in ten minutes. Part two in ten minutes. Right, that will in. That will in. The, hold on. Hold on. I think the resolution originally was that it be read out, um, but nobody's seen I haven't seen it, so, and nobody's seen it yet. And when we've seen it, we, we will read it out if that's... I mean, it has been emailed through, I understand, but obviously we, we've been in session. Um, so I would just ask for a brief time and we would need copies. Not transparent, there's no... Would you like to just... One minute, one minute. Five minutes while that's done, or... Proposal to adjourn for five minutes so you can see what the legal advice is and then it can be read out in the public domain. So if, you, if you're happy with that, we will adjourn to five past five. I'll tell you, everybody's like, we're caught at any pounds. We're caught at any pounds, don't we? Well, let's see if we're going off for five minutes. Hold on, something else. Something's being said, hold on. It's, it will be absolutely irresponsible of us as a council to take a decision when people have only had a few minutes to, to study um, um, the legal advice. Yes! To to their barristers, to speak to their barristers and see what the situation is. We would be, we would be failing in our duty if we didn't. So I'm suggesting, therefore, that we go for Monday. We adjourn till Monday to give people the chance to read it and understand it. And I hope I've got a second there. Patience, please, patience. Hold on, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Hold on, it's not a time. Marcus Johnston. I'm I'll speak only the second. You're the colleague. Because I'm the second. Okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah, thanks for being. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. I'll second Councillor Ayer's proposal. Um, earlier today, we were given legal advice about acting responsibly or irresponsibly. I think it would be all irresponsible for any councillors to make a decision, having considered legal advice for five minutes. I'm presuming that legal advice will, will contain some level of detail. It will be disappointing if it doesn't. So five minutes is already inappropriate. Um, even deferring this till Monday will only give two working days, but I think that will be more appropriate in the circumstances. Yes. I think any decision on whether or not to adjourn should not be taken until we've actually seen what the nature of the legal advice is. We don't know what's in it. It's been proposed and it's seconded. The understanding is, um, Cassie, you proposed and it was seconded that we um, adjourn until the 29th. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay, so can we go to the vote? Could you have been there for five minutes?
subjects. So we wait for Council Chief to come back so we can go to the road. Oh, no, no, take this one out first. Oh, God. By which is to defer this till Monday now. And it's been seconded by Councillor Green. So we have to, although legal, legal advice is here, but they put motion forward. So by right, we have to go to the board now. So those people who would want to support the uh, motion, can we ask your hands, please? All those in favour? I don't know what they're doing, it's a shambles. Bang! <laughs> Keep it down! Who's there? Who's Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the motion has been carried to defer this particular item from Monday, 10 o'clock. Okay. Monday, 10 o'clock. And green. And green. Hey, Aston Green. Thanks, Chris. We're dealing with the webcast now, that's it completely so Monday. That's best if it, that's a yeah, little bump to best new way till Monday. We've still got where's the kids are going well yet. Well done, Green and Hey Hurst. Well done. Can I just remind everybody as well, this has all been done, this first, behind closed doors for years and years and years. These are people who've been spending our money for years and years and years. Right? What's happening now is the speaker on our behalf. This is a massive, massive move today. You know, fighting tooth and nail, and that's what they're going to do. Because there's some people on that panel who have not lots of words about it, they won't fuck you. For whatever reason, they won't hit. And some of the guys are now actually listening to the evidence. But they've been doing this behind these closed doors for years. You will now get them out there, I'll be telling you. These are people who are in charge of our money. It stops now. It stops now. See you the other day. Remember, we still got one good to go. Well done, well done, stay, yes, stay. We're going to give you the official side of it. It's only over to Jake now. No, no, just saying, it was a kid tomorrow and Friday, but we've seen him on the phone for that new road. Well, then, just wait, stay. Do you have better information? If you don't believe me, listen to Jake. So, so legal advice to be, to be published at any moment, we'll be going through it line by line, word by word, and, you know, trying to tear it to bits, basically. Um, so, we are coming back on Monday, so we'll all need to be back here on Monday, but... So, obviously, BBC uh, are coming here at 6.30, so please stick around if you can. Hopefully, the uh, heaven won't open up on us. Uh, and, obviously, let's be back regardless tomorrow anyway for Jessica, which is going to be uh, a, a presentation happening. I just, I just want to clarify. We just voted on an adjournment to mandate to discuss the adjournment for a month. People aren't clear. No, no, we're not just no. No. What are we just about? To discuss this, come back. Having, having had time to hear the advice, they can then continue with the meeting. But the continuation of the meeting is yeah. that they want, Paul Hay has called for an amendment that yeah. required a month yeah, to consult with Barry. That was to meet yeah, yeah. That was to meet So all we've got is money. We've got money. We've got money. We've got money. We live to find another day. We live to find another day. Yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Taking notes as well. So, everybody.